back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing absolutely fine. So, this is the part 2 of adaptations in animals. And in this video, we are going to learn about the animals, the adaptations of animals that live in high mountains and the adaptation of animals that live in tundra and taiga regions. So, let's start without wasting any time. So here are the adaptations of the animals that live in uh, the live in the region of high mountains. So number one, anim animals in this region have thick fur on their bodies. So now their weather is so cold, okay, harsh winters, long and harsh winters. So they have thick fur on the body to protect them. Next, they have a thick layer of fat under their skin. So this layer of fat also helps them to protect, okay, to protect in that harsh weather. And last we have some examples, yaks in Tibet. So in Tibet, uh, in the high mountains, yaks are found. Then the, uh, mountain goats of Kashmir and llama found in South America. So these were the adaptations of the animals that live in high mountains. So now uh, let's move to the tundra and taiga region. Let's go. You can also take a pic if you want. So guys, here are the adaptations of the animals that live in tundra and taiga regions, okay? So number one, musk ox, polar bear, arctic fox uh, live, etc. live here. So these are the names of the animals that live over here. So the polar bear's fur helps it to blend into the snow and ice. So come on, the uh, fur of the polar bear is white. So these two white colors, the white of the snow and white of the White fur of the bear blends. Okay, so uh, the wind, la the wide large paws of the polar bear helps it to walk in the snow. So what does this say? That they are very large, wide paws that helps them to balance and walk in the snow. Okay, so uh, next one, the musk ox has two layer of fur, one short and other long. The short one keeps it warm and the other, the longer one protects it from wind and water. So long point, right? So let me tell you what does this say. Okay. So two layers of fur. One is shorter one and one is longer one. So what does the shorter one do? It keeps it warm and what does the longer one do? It uh, protects it from wind and water. So guys, there are two more points. So let's go. So guys, as I told you, two more are there. So here are they. Okay. So number one, the musk ox has large and hard hooves, which helps it to break the ice and drink the water underneath. So firstly, let me tell you what are hooves. It is a hard part of the foot of an animal. Okay. What are hooves? It is a hard part of a foot of an animal. Okay. So let us read it again. The musk ox has large and hard hooves which help it to break the ice and drink the water underneath. So, uh, in that polar regions, the, uh, the uh, ground is covered with ice, right? So, they just uh, break the ice and drink the water that, that is underneath, okay? So, snowy owl has white feathers which help it to blend into the snowy environment. So, snowy owl, it is an animal that lives, a uh, bird that lives there. So, uh, it is uh, very like a uh, large amount of white feathers that helps it blend into the environment. It also helps a dense, it also has a dense layer of body feathers that keep it warm. So, as I told you in that polar regions, the temperature is extremely low and the winters are really harsh and long. So, to protect themselves, they have a layer of, a uh, dense layer of feathers. And, uh, yeah, and uh, one more uh, fact about polar bears, that they have, means, it's in a acha sense of smell. They have a very good sense of smell. Okay? They can smell the seals which are mile away. Okay. So, guys, I need to show you one more thing that I made. That is my magic emoji card. I made it today. I hope you like it. So, let me tell you how it works. So, can you see? This is kind of emoji. Can you see that? Uh, yeah. Wow, that's so beautiful. 
beautiful light kind of emoji and next this emoji is of crying i hope you can see this emoji is of crying and one more emoji it carries is this one masti ka mood right so guys i hope you like this magic emoji card and i hope you learned a lot from this video please don't forget to hit a like button share my video and if you haven't please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such educational videos so thank you